Here, I give you some simple exercise to start with. You can do it simply on a chair. Try them and see how it works. So get ready. So we're going to do some yoga exercises and some postures using the chair. It's so easy. That's how you start first. Take it easy and increase as you progress. So you will notice you actually relieve lethargy, tiredness, dullness by doing the simple exercises. You simply do it on the chair or if you have a sofa, you can do it on it. But make sure the sofa is not a soft one. If you have any sofa, a couch in your house, which is soft, please throw it away. It's not good for you. It will actually make you very dull, depressed, anxiety because the way you would be sitting on the sofa would be like this and which will actually affect your energies. It should be a hard one. Not so hard, it could be semi-hard where you can comfortably sit with your back or you're resting like this if you're watching TV. So these are very important. Do some changes in your house that helps a lot. So here we begin with some exercises. Understand you can start with 30 seconds first, each exercise for 30 seconds. And you try to do it for a minute to 90 seconds to two minutes. It's up to you. So build it up slowly by time. So even if you have knee issues, even if you have pain or stiffness in the body, move your body. That's where you build strength, okay? So let's begin. The first one is very simple. Sit slightly forward, comfortable with your back straight. Place your hands on the knees, palms facing down. Cup your knees like this. Now, breathe in through your nostril and you want to lean forward, chin up and squeeze your shoulder blades as you breathe in. And now breathe out through the mouth, that is easier. And push your navel towards the spine, chin touch the breastbone. Inhale again. And exhale. This is a pelvic tilt which will help relieve pain and stiffness in your back and increases spinal energy. Do this for 30 seconds to a minute to 90 seconds to two minutes. Breathing in, breathing out here. In, out. In, out. In, out. Good. The next one, you would like to hug your knee. So you stretch your arms open as you breathe in, sitting taller. And as you exhale, hug your right knee. Bring it closer to your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, left. Like this. You do 30 seconds to a minute to 90 seconds to even two minutes. The next one, you're going to do lifting the knee without using your hands. So place five fingers just to the side of your head like this. And sitting taller, as you breathe out, lift your right knee and touch the left elbow to that knee, breathing out. In, 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 out, in, out, like this. You do 30 seconds to a minute to 90 seconds to two minutes, okay? So the next one you're going to do is where you stretch your arms front, leaning forward like this. And breathe in, come back to the center and now stretch out and lean forward. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Good. The next one you try is lifting your leg straight up and reaching your toes with your hands. So you sit taller like this, breathe in, and now breathe out, raise your right leg, in. In, out, in, out, like this. You do 30 to 60 seconds to 90 seconds to two minutes. The next one, you want to twist by lifting the leg up. Stretch your arms to the side, 
and breathe in here as you breathe out in out in out in out in out like this do it the next one i would like you to come a little more front careful make sure you sit comfortably with the buttocks resting fully and now lean back placing the hands like this stretch your legs straight in the front and get your back straight now you want to lift your knees so both the knees up and down up and down like this you do 30 seconds to 60 to 90 even 2 minutes good once you're good with this try lifting both the legs up straight like this breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out okay if you can't lift both the legs that high you try a little even here like that that's fine you're still working your fire awakening agni the metabolic fire the next i would like you to do is twisting so sitting with your legs slightly apart or you can keep them close together now what do you do you raise both the hands up breathe in and just with one hand first try easy with your right elbow across your left knee and look up 1 2 3 4 5 breathe in raise both arms and this side 1 2 3 4 5 like this you do 30 seconds 2 3 4 5 to a minute 2 3 4 5 then go for 2 minutes so once you're good with that now try both the hands raising up and do namaste inhale and as you exhale turn inhale exhale inhale exhale in exhale you see all this twisting poses are very good for pancreas the control sugar in the blood so you also help your waist smaller by doing this postures another one i would like you to do is twist by using your hand and try to reach across even to the ground if you can't if you have a block keep a block and try to reach the block over here like this inhale exhale and this other hand lift up and look at the head twisting more 2 3 4 5 don't worry in the beginning you may not able to do it but by time you can do it in out in out in out in out good you see so these are excellent exercises now to burn more fats and increase metabolism metabolic fire to boost metabolism the best is squats don't panic some people have knee pain a lot because of the weight if you have more weight on your waist it can cause pain poor knees are suffering you know so you want to reduce the weight so that will help relieve knee pains so what are the best exercises box squat many people got rid of knee pain by doing this maybe you will be lucky try this sit like this little forward firmly place your feet stretch your arms slightly front and lean little bit front not too much and as you breathe out you stand up place your hands on the knees and carefully sit on the chair you see if you have a mat it won't slip try to place the chair on the mat to do these exercises inhale as you sit exhale as you come back so by time you no need to place your hands on the knees you can just do it like this got it so these are very good exercises to get your metabolism you feel so energetic the whole day that's good with this exercises the next one i would like you to do is simply stretching 
to downward facing dog. So if you have a wall like this, you place the chair to the wall so it won't slip away. So you can push the chair to get a good stretch. So place your palms on the chair, on the seat. Now you got to keep your legs slightly apart, breathe out. And now slowly come back up straight like this. And you want to just relax the hips to the chair like that. Shoulders open back, look up. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Like this you do 30 seconds to 60 seconds to 90 seconds to even 120 seconds. Very, very good. Now the next step is you want to help your legs to be very active and burn fats. The best one is warrior. So place your hands like this, right leg out and bend your right knee as much as possible, look up. And again go back to downward facing dog, breathe out, then left leg out and then go back, repeat like this for 30 seconds first. If you're good with this, then go for 90, try to keep your back feet flat like this okay and if you're very good go for two minutes keep doing keep moving the very important is to move your body good now here you try to combine all this moves together so like this see stand legs slightly apart place your palms on the seat now inhale to upward facing dog Exhale to downward facing dog. Step your right leg out like this. Bending your right knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale to downward facing dog. And again come to upward facing dog. Inhaling. Exhale. Then step your left leg outside into warrior. Bending your left knee as much possible. Look up as you inhale. Exhale. So repeat the whole set like this for two minutes or even one minute. Okay. Start with maybe one minute. See, upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale downward. Right leg out to warrior. Inhale. Exhale downward. Upward again. Inhale. Exhale downward, left leg out, inhale, exhale downward. There you go. Good. The next important one I would like you to try is you building your immune strength. How? By exercising your chest. You see, push ups are not just only push ups, it actually makes your heart very strong. So try them. See, the easier method stand like this and just adjust your hips and shoulder in line, not like this, okay? Now, just a little, a micro bend in the elbow. Inhale, exhale, that's it. Start this way, inhale, exhale. Now, once you're very good with it, maybe you want to go a little more down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Maybe you're more good, inhale, you touch the seat, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Progress. Take it easy. Step by step. And you enjoy. Have fun. Don't be too serious. Okay? Move. That's a very important thing. Good. So these are the moves which you can do. And also, by standing here, at the back of your chair, you can do some exercises. Where you want to exercise your legs. The more you exercise your legs, you burn more fires because the major muscles are here in the legs. So what do you do? Place, rest your one hand on the chair, stand by the side of the chair, breathe in, lift your knee up, breathe out, bring your knee as side as possible to help open the hips. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So if you find it difficult, do it slowly, put it down like this. Breathe in, breathe out. 
go for one minute to two minutes, then change and repeat the other side same way. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. The next good exercise to burn more and more fats in inner, inner and outer thigh and make your legs very firm and strong. They will be like a horse, very powerful. And also it makes your hips very healthy and strong. Try this. Stand with your feet wider than hip width distance and turn your feet 45 degree angle. You can place your hands for support. And now you inhale and micro bend your knee first. Check it out. Are you good with this? And breathe out. <sighs> inhale as you go down. Exhale as you come stand up. But if you're good, go a little more down. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Keep your abdomen tight when you do this. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> If you're good, maybe try to go a little more down until your knee and hip in line and breathe out. So go like this for a minute to two minutes. See how you feel very healthy, very strong, very balanced. Now, the next one more pose which we're going to do is to balance the body. So this is good to relieve pain and tension in your knees, ankles and hips. The best pose is not touch. So standing tall, take the support, one hand on the chair, grab the other leg like this. Now first try to bring your heel to the buttock and just stay here. Control the abdomen, stand tall. That's all. Stay for a minute or even two minutes. <laughs> okay, change the other side. So once you're good with this, Go for the next step. Place one hand or you can rest your elbow. Bend, grab this leg and push the leg into the hand as high as possible. It's okay if you can't go that high, even here. Just happily stay, looking front and stay for a minute to two minutes. Excellent, you feel so good. You fire up your nervous system. You feel very energetic by doing this pose. That's why it's called the dance of Shiva. So like this, you grab, push the leg into the hand, hold it, keep the supporting leg straight and relax and stay here. A little by little, you keep lifting up and up and up. Do only to your best. Finish. Come back. So thanks for your time and thanks for listening to me and I hope these recommendations help. If you need any help from me, you can write to me an email or you can contact Dr. Shaker for more information and also you can visit my website so until then see you i wish you a happy and healthy life namaste